Freight is a family's effort to transform an old abandoned train depot into an event center and hotel while preserving and respecting Leadville's unique history all the while. Leadville resident Elsa Tharp discovered the crumbling structure in 2015 with her parents and saw worlds of possibility. They dreamed of revitalizing the large wooden building's crumbling infrastructure into a space that would serve the Leadville community. We take an inside look at the hotel and event space. Good morning. Joining us this morning is Elsa Tharp, the party priestess from Freight up in Leadville. Good morning, Elsa. Good morning. Well, thanks for joining us. Tell us about Freight and the experience of coming up there to visit you guys. There is so much to say about Freight. I'm going to try to keep it brief. Uh, freight is an old refurbished freight depot. It was built in 1884 up here in Leadville. It is at 10,200 feet in the air, almost two miles high. Um, we look out over the highest mountains in the Rockies, the Mount Massive and Elbert Peaks raised right above our courtyard. Uh, we have 13 private cabins attached to the depot. They're all individual cabins, all about two and a half blocks off of Main Street, so almost right downtown in Leadville, very accessible. We do weddings, quinceaneras, concerts, dances, debates, community markets, community um, workshops and fundraisers and business retreats. Freight is a space that says yes to whatever somebody wants to do here. So Elsa, tell me about the experience there. Walk me through what it looks, what it feels like at Freight. So everyone is welcome at Freight. You can come here for all sorts of things, whether it's just a drink or to wave at the train or a concert or to stay overnight. Uh, when you come to stay overnight, we welcome you with complimentary beverages because we want to celebrate that you have arrived at your destination. Leadville is a destination in and of itself. Um, you can sit on the dock overlooking the tallest peaks of the Rockies and sit and contemplate your life. You can sit in our Whiskey Lime Lounge, which is just chock-a-block full of all of the antiques that we found on site. And you can kind of play I Spy and dream up new things. Uh, you can be having a charcuterie picnic in our courtyard, watching a concert, or you may be coming to shop from our local artisans that um, are here for our community markets. So really freight is different almost every single day, but no matter what, you know you're coming here to feel a sense of place and a sense of grounding and to be welcome no matter who you are. And how did the idea for freight come about? Because you're right there on the, the train tracks. Um, it's, it's a unique concept. Tell me about how you guys came up with the idea. Uh, freight was definitely a kind of a child born of serendipity. This is a family run business and Nan and Dave, the owners are both historic preservation architects and they saw this rundown, dilapidated, massive shed structure. And they said that, that is what we need to save and renovate. And we are gonna give Leadville whatever it is Leadville wants. So it was, it was definitely, um, a mixture of bringing skills together with community desire and trying to create an asset with our work. And there's a lot of sustainability that went into building the hotel, correct? Yes, definitely. Um, trying, to, trying to renovate a building is always going to be more expensive, but it is absolutely the most honest way of sustainability because you're using materials that haven't had to be recycled, they already exist. Um, everything that we took down on the site, we had to do some demolition, but it was more of a deconstruction. So we saved all of the viable materials that were already on the site and used those things to kind of reimagine what those materials could be in these cabins. So the reimagining and recycling of materials already found here was a way to kind of bring the story and continue the story of Leadville and the West into a reimagined place where we have more story and more progress to attain. And what's coming up um, this spring? Do you have any specials at Freight and Slumberyard? 
Yeah, we have a stay two nights, get one free special. You can find that on the Colorado Tourism website. Um, we're also renovating one of our old woodsheds to be a uh, pavilion and concert hall. So it's open up to the south. It's got beautiful sun. And we're really going to play as much music and be as community oriented as possible outside and safe and um, bring a little bit of vibrancy back into our mountain towns. If people want to come check you out, uh, what's the best way for them to get information or book a stay? Oh, so many options. <laughs> you can't miss us. We are, um, we're online. We have a website. It is Freight Leadville. Can't go wrong. Uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook. You can book a stay on Airbnb or directly from our website. Uh, we're in the local paper and we're on Mountain TV. Well, thank you so much, Elsa. Have a great day and hope to come check you guys out soon. Yes, come back soon.